It's about actual stupidity. Masses of people unwilling or unable to recognize the difference between democracy and dictatorship. It is one of the latest ads from the anti-Trump Lincoln Project. Politicians and pundits drunk on confirmation bias and spewing lies in the name of principles they no longer hold. Cultists, useful idiots, ignorance, mindlessness, actual stupidity. And in a recent campaign rally, Trump played right into it. They want electric planes. What happens if the sun isn't shining while you're up in the air? Well, sir, those, you know, they, I told you there'd be problems, sir. It's here, and it's taking over. Take a last stand with humanity this November and save the future from A.S. before it's too late. Now, late at night, early in the morning, and throughout the day, Donald Trump is erupting. Crooked Joe Biden is the worst president in the history of the United States by far. Crooked Joe choked like a dog. Joe is a cognitive mess. All of these unfair charges represent the worst level of election interference ever seen in our country's long and storied history. Healthcare professionals who think that, that uh, Trump has dementia, that his connection, uh, his thoughts do not go together, not only that he just lies, he doesn't even know the truth. Crazy Nancy Pelosi, who the other day was exposed by her daughter, a filmmaker, as being responsible for the lack of security on January 6th, is in my opinion more cognitively impaired than crooked Joe Biden. I just watched her do an interview and she was way off. Mm. The outbursts from Trump keep coming and they seem to be getting more unhinged. When Trump didn't see an immediate boost in his poll numbers after the debate, Donald Trump exploded and insisted his debate performance was the greatest in debate history. When Liz Cheney criticized Trump, Trump posted a message saying she is guilty of treason and must be sent to a military tribunal on live television. Trump also posted a message using the QAnon slogan, where we go one, we go all. When Steve Bannon reported to federal prison, Trump said he stands with a convicted felon and blamed Justice Juan Mershon for sentencing Bannon. But in fact, it was a Trump-appointed judge, not Mershon, who sentenced Bannon to prison. The lunatic Trump rants, Trump's instability, and the Trump threats to democracy go to the heart of another Lincoln Project ad. And this is an ad aimed at Republican voters. Watch. Millions of Republicans, more all the time, are feeling the pressure. The pressure to vote for the party, to toe the line, to pull the lever the way you always did before. Maybe the way your parents did, too. It used to make sense. It used to be easy. Because it used to be the party that said character mattered. The party that was for the family. The party that believed in the vision of the founders. The party of law and order. The party of rugged individualism. The party that would never vote for a criminal. But with or without the verdict, we all knew that's exactly what Donald Trump is. A criminal. When did conservative values become about one man? When did faith go from looking upward to looking the other way? Donald Trump doesn't represent the party of Lincoln. He's not the inheritor of Reagan's legacy. Donald Trump is a virus that has torn our party to shreds. It's time to save the Republican Party by voting against it. Mm. That is powerful. And by the way, because of copyright issues, we had to remove the music from that ad. So for the full effect, Check out the ad on the Lincoln Project YouTube page. There is another ad the Lincoln Project recently published that we also want to show you. And by all accounts in Trump world, these ads do get under Donald Trump's skin, whether he lashes out at them or not. This next ad is titled, What Will You Tell Your Kids? The spot focuses on Donald Trump's grossest behavior and targets suburban women voters. Watch. What will you tell your kids? That you voted for a felon and a criminal supported a man found guilty by a citizen jury, went into the voting booth happy to pull the lever for the only former president in history to bear the mark of criminal shame. Will you tell them that breaking the law is how they should live their lives, that lying to their families about porn stars and hush money is how they should behave? Do you want your son to treat women like a man who was found to have committed sexual assault? Do you want your daughter to be a victim of a man like him? You're going up the escalator? Yeah. I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Can yeah. you go? And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the... Will you tell them that he was honest, that he was a good man, 
very fine people on both sides. That he treated people the way you've taught them. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Will you tell them you're proud of his cruelty? Happy with the ugly insults. Yeah, I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. The it's attacks crazy. on women and the endless lies that the chaos, death, and danger he brought was worth it. We know it's hard to walk away and put country over party, but your kids are watching. You're not just voting for your future. You're voting for theirs. Mm, another strong ad. And speaking of the future, the stakes keep getting bigger. Here's the headline from Ross Story. Screaming the quiet part, Trump advisors say he's ready to embrace king-like powers. Quote, Presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump was pledged to be a dictator on day one if elected to another four years in the White House, as reportedly preparing to exploit the U.S. Supreme Court ruling Monday that current and former presidents are entitled to sweeping immunity from criminal prosecution. Among the steps, Trump, who celebrated the ruling, intends to take swiftly upon assuming office following a possible November victory, according to Axios, are setting up vast camps to deport millions of people, moving to fire potentially tens of thousands of civil servants and replace them with pre-vetted loyalists, and centralizing power over the Justice Department, which the former president has repeatedly threatened to wield against his political opponents. In other words, on top of whatever disgusting lies and gross individual behavior Trump engages in, he intends to try and become a king and turn this nation into a fiefdom of servitude to him. However, Donald Trump cannot resist delivering unhinged and crazy meltdowns at people and groups who call him out. And there does seem to be a chance that Trump's own extreme lunatic behavior will turn off enough voters to keep Trump from seizing power. That's the wish, at least, for Democrats, anti-Trump Republicans, and groups like the Lincoln Project. And they are now putting Trump on full blast, dropping hundreds of millions of dollars of attack ads against him, and hoping that Donald Trump keeps exploding. By the way, one of the founders of the MAGA group Moms for Liberty recently exploded at a group of Hawaiian drag queens. I spent $3,000 to stay here. I'm not having my child see a man pretending to be a woman. This is completely offensive to me. I'm sorry, then you should leave. No, because I paid $3,000 to be here. I'd like to talk to the manager. He's right there. In Hawaii, the Karen who wants to talk to a hotel manager about some drag queens is named Beth Bourne. She's a founder of the California chapter of the conservative Moms for Liberty and born as an employee of the University of California, Davis. Okay, why do you think it's uh, okay to pretend that you're a woman? We were invited here. You were invited here? Who invited you here? The manager. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from BC2 who wrote, The only freedom they cherish is the freedom to hate. Indeed. I look forward to reading your comments about Donald Trump going berserk as the attacks against him multiply. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.